What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my DaVinci Resolve 14 beginners tutorial. What we're going to do today is learn how to sync your audios in DaVinci Resolve 14. Now download the footage I have provided in the comments below so you can follow along. Go ahead and open DaVinci Resolve 14 and drag the footage first. Just click don't change and the audio next into your media pool under the media tab. Now. The video was shot with Panasonic GH5's all intra in 4K mode. Now the uh, audio was recorded with a Zoom H4n with a Sennheiser G3 wireless lav mic. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the stuff that I'm about to show you right now, you don't have to necessarily do if you have your own footage. I'm only doing this because we shot in anamorphic 4.3 mode. So bottom right corner of DaVinci Resolve, go ahead and go enter your setting, your project settings in the timeline resolution since we're going to want this to be a 2.4 aspect ratio. Let's change that to 800. Go to image scaling. We're going to change it to scale full frame with crop. Save that. It's going to do something weird, but what we're going to do next is going to change everything. Right click your footage, go to clip attributes, go to pis pistol pixel aspect ratio to cinema scope, press OK and voila, there you go. Now we have this really handsome actor here acting for us. Um, it's not going to look right just yet because you're going to see these black bars, but unless at least the video is now stretched or de-squeezed properly. So it should show up like this. If we control F, you're going to see that, that it's going to look great. Control F to go back. Now, there's going to be three ways you can do a uh, syncing in post, and I'm going to show you the three ways I know. There's probably a lot more, but I'm not sure what they are. I'm just showing you the things I learned from the manual, and well, one of it is just how you do it manually. So, let's go with the first method. The first method, what you're going to do is if you have a clapper or some sort, if you're a professional, you're going to click on your footage. It's going to show up in your little viewer here. You're going to find where the clapper is. In this case, I had the handsome actor just clap his hand. We can go press the right arrow key to go to where he's about to clap, maybe right there. We're gonna do that. So basically, we're gonna have that there. If you have a clapper, you want it when the clapper closes. And then what we're gonna do is go to click on the audio file. And we're gonna go to the right here. If you don't see this, let's go ahead and reset the UI just so that we're following along the same way. You're gonna go to the waveform, okay? And you're gonna see the waveform of this off recorded file from the H4n. You're gonna find that same exact clap in the H4n file or your audio file. Uh, see here, right there. I just uh, press the arrow key to the left and that should be it. And the next thing you're gonna do is click this link button. Boom, and you're done. That means that you just synced your camera's audio and your Zoom H4n getting rid of the camera's scratch track. So now you should have a really clean audio if you did it properly. Let's go ahead and play back. Now you should hear the Zoom H4n audio now. All right, so what I'm gonna do today there is provide you go. He's you this talking. file. So, so great, that's fantastic. So that's method number one. So let's go ahead and delete those, remove it. I'm gonna show you method number two. We're gonna drag and drop, same exact thing. Right click, clip attributes, cinema scope, okay, perfect. Right, second method is totally automatic. You're gonna let the Vendry Soul 14 decide and match for you. The only problem is you have to make sure that your scratch track or your camera's audio is recording clean, clean video, I mean clean audio, like at least with a high enough level that the, the DaVinci Resolve 14 can hear it and match it with your off recorded audio. So highlight your video, control, highlight your audio, right click, and you have uh, four options. You can either auto sync the audio based on time code, and time code in a pen tracks, but we don't have any time code, so what we're gonna focus on is the last two. Audio sync audio base on waveform. What this is gonna do is it's gonna replace your camera's audio with the audio you recorded with your H4n. If you click the second one, 
This is gonna sync the same thing, but it's gonna also append another track. So you're gonna have your video, your camera's audio, and then the audio that you recorded with H4n. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's click on the first one, boom. It's gonna do its thing, analyze complete. We're gonna click edit. We're gonna drag and drop that video right there. We're gonna make it smaller. And this audio is the clean version from your H4n already. All right, so okay. what I'm gonna You can see there's no third track. So we're gonna control Z that. We're gonna go back to the media. Highlight two, both of it, auto syncs, and now with a pen tracks. Click, boom. Go back to the edit menu, and there you go. Now you see three audio. One from the uh, camera, and then one from the H4N. Awesome. If you wanna disconnect the audio, your clean audio from the video, all you have to do is right click, go to clip attributes, go to audio, and you're gonna click, uh, let's see here. Instead of this one right here, link channel, you can just mute those, both of them, and you're only gonna have the embedded channel, which is your scratch track from your camera. Boom, voila. You don't see that anymore, and you're gonna only have the scratch track here. If you want that done in a media, you can do that as well. Clip attributes, you can also mute those too and you should be good to go. And you can change that to one so you don't have to worry about it or see it. And ever, whenever we redrag that back, you should only see one audio. Okay, and obviously the third method is the manual way, which is you just line both of them up, zoom in, and then find the clapper that you have or just pretty much matching, just matching the waveform. You see how that's matched up? And after that, you just mute the scratch track and voila, you're good to go. Now, thanks for watching. If you have questions, let me know. I like to keep this video really short and sweet. See you guys later.